Hi everyone, welcome to my February reading journal. For February, we are back once again to a night theme. Uh, I went through so many different ideas when I was thinking about what I wanted to put on this cover, cover page for February. I started out with the idea that I wanted a deer in the picture, but then because it's February, I was thinking maybe I should include some of that medieval romanticism uh, and have something like the knight going to save a damsel or the knight kissing a princess or something like that to make it more February-esque. Uh, but none of those worked out for multiple reasons. One just being that none of them felt quite right, uh, and the other being that my drawing skills were not up to any of the concepts that I had. Too many of them involved some kind of forced perspective or involved two figures interacting, which is difficult to do. It's hard to draw people interacting with each other and it not look weird. Uh, so I went through a lot of different options and then I came back around to this initial sketch that I had done of a deer lying down and I decided to use that because it just felt right for the month. So I ended up with this image of the knight kneeling before this magical deer. I don't really know what the story behind this is but something about this knight pledging themselves to the deer. Also, as always, any images that I used for inspiration, reference, or that I just straight up traced uh, will be linked in the description, so check those out if you're interested in any of the images that inspired this picture. I actually did a little bit more of actual tracing than usual with this one because there were some very specific angles to like the head and body of the deer and the kneeling and knight that I was having a hard time doing on my own. And the deer is actually made up of three different images. The body of the deer is from one picture, and then I got the head from another one, and the antlers from a third. Uh, and the knight is made up of two different images because I found one that I really liked the pose and the body, but it was a man and I wanted another lady knight. So I put the head and hair from a different picture onto the body. As I was drawing this, I realized that both this picture and the one I did for January have a knight with their head bowed over a sword, so I'm not sure if that's a theme that's going to continue through the month, uh, but it's just surprising to me that I did that twice. Uh, I do think though that the deer is going to be a relatively consistent theme through a lot of these uh, images because I had a fawn in the first one and I have this deer in the second one. I also have some ideas for future ones, like I want to do one where the knight is riding a deer, so I think that's going to be a consistent theme across some of these. This time, when I was doing the background, like the green at the bottom of the page, I put some water down first so the watercolors would blend more smoothly and it worked well. So I'm actually learning things about how to work with watercolor. Um, the background, I think, did turn out a little bit more muddied than I was anticipating, at least in the top half, uh, where there are like, I guess they're trees. They were kind of supposed to be trees, but they kind of just look like lines. Anyway, I didn't anticipate that the brown ink 
would blend with the green watercolor so much. I thought it might a little bit, but it just did it a lot more than I thought it would. So it ended up being a lot more muddied in the background than I thought it would be. But I think it's okay. I kind of do like the contrast between the darkness of the background and then how bright and light the circle around them, uh, around the deer and the night is. And like, I don't know how well it comes across on the video, but the background of the circle is metallic. So it's also shiny as well as being a lighter color. So it gives this real brightness to it that I like. This month for the page titles lettering, I tried to do a more medieval looking lettering, something not quite so fancy as being like illuminated, but a fancy looking lettering. Uh, and I really like how it looks. I think it adds a lot to the spread. So even if there isn't a lot of doodling on the page, it still feels very in the theme with the medieval knight theme. Uh, but oh my gosh, it takes a long time to do these letters, uh, especially the little doodly flourishes around the letters. It just takes a long time. So I, I'm not sure how much I'm going to do them in future spreads or not because I really like how it looks, but it also takes a long time. This month I also was trying to use stickers more and I have some mixed feelings about how that went. It's not bad, uh, but I don't necessarily love the stickers that I used. I'm not sure if I'm really a sticker person. I'm getting into using washi tape sparingly. I'm not sure if I'm going to get on board with stickers. I do really want to try using stamps though, so maybe I'll get some more stamps to try out next time. And we have now arrived at the final flip through. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Thank you all for watching and until next time, bye.